Okay, welcome back everybody. I'm going to do a leaf tonight. It's going to be bigger than the feather and out of earth tones. So we'll just get right to it. The only bit of negative space really we're going to need is right here. I'm going to make it really big. Uh, I did one like this a little while back. And it turned out pretty good. I'm going to try to do that again with some of this leftover beetle paint. I'm going to do the beetle leg shortly. It's looking good over there. Let's see. It's kind of getting all this to the edge. Getting this white in there. I'm going to cover up most of the canvas. It's 11 by 14. Just going to pour that off so we get a nice smooth finish. Yep. Okay. Just like that, I think it'll be fine. Might put some over here. Run them low on white paint, and I, I just don't want to make any. Just think that I can get enough out of this to get the job done. So I'm just gonna pour some of that over there, like that. Okay, so the colors we're gonna use. I'm going to graduate dark to light this time. See how that goes. I think I'm going to put down some white. Like that. And then we'll go. I have a lot of blue, but I don't want it to take over. Let's go here. So we pour this on here like this. A little more than we do with the feather because we're going to spread it further. Just like that. Let's go with the light blue. And then I'm going to throw the green in there. I think in the middle, some, and then mainly on the outside, like that. Okay, and then it's like a gold type sandy color. This metallic's gonna sink to the bottom, so. I'm just going to pour it right in the middle of the pile like that. Okay. Okay. I have a little bit left over. a little bit wet my tools a little wet makes for a good swipe so take off the excess strip and then remember we're just going to cover the canvas so go all the way to the edge clean just push that paint like that
Got a little close right there. Cover that up a little bit. I'll start this way. So now, it's not going over the edges like I'd like, but I'm going to go back in with some white and just fill in right there. So I'm going to take this and drag it up this way. Blue really took over. I should have used something else, but I had all this paint left over and I love the way the blues and greens play together with the metallic dark colors. So I think I'm going to, I want it to come more out this way. So take another swipe. kind of defining the shape. I needed a little bit more paint, I think. This canvas wasn't very tight. Wasn't prepped very well. It's probably all going to go into the center. That's what happens when you buy some cheap canvas, but it's great to practice on. Get a good feel of what you're doing. Get my bamboo stick now. Just kind of help it along. Give it some veining. gorgeous right here. I mean, wow. Okay. So now I want to put some beads on my leaf. So I'm going to get, let's see, I'm going to get the metallic color with my pointy end, stir it around, get a good glob of it, and come right up to the edge. Give it some of that. Get another glob. That's not too bad. I like that a lot. And do it again. So that looks pretty good. You can add more or you can add less. So now I'm going to get some of the royal blue metallic and just put a bead on it like that. Well, those didn't turn out like I wanted. <laughs> so we can go back in 
and make a barrel bead. So going around in circles like that. I'm going to leave that one. It looks pretty good. Like that. Um, take a little green. Put a dot right beside it. Can't see it. Get some more paint. That's another bead. This is getting all kinds of crazy, but it just adds to it, so. We're gonna pretend it's a huge, I don't know, sailor bead sticking out like a sore thumb. It's too much dimethicone. This paint has sat for a week. And it is all kinds of selling up. I'm go this way. Like that with some brown. That's good. And then I'll just run my bamboo stick back through here. It's getting huge. It's acting crazy. Maybe it's an undersea leaf. Oh, let's see. Come out here. Okay. This is really thick and looks weird. I hate to interrupt this, but I think I'm gonna try to push this this way and come out. Just to see if I can get it to not look so thick right there. See what happens with that. Really hate to interrupt it, but just wasn't right. Let's see what we can do over here. This might not be any better. <laughs> the good thing with these is they can get bigger and bigger. And... It's okay. The more you mix it, the smaller your cells get. Kind of just gives it a little added dimension. I think I'm going to leave this here and pretend this is the bottom end of the feather. So I really need to mix up some white paint. Right now, since I'm in a hurry and didn't get enough, I'm mixing about a three to one. One part paint, three parts flow trawl. I got a little gloss medium. Real thick. Sorry about that. There's the bead work. Not the best producer and video editor at, by any means. Okay, so I'm going to take this in here. 
and come up on the side. Let's get some up in there. There, but I'm gonna get this. Hmm. Might as well put the paint on there just in case I have to swipe it again. This might not make it onto YouTube. It's quite a mess. I'm just pouring paint. I hate to mess this up, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to add some paint here and see if I can't get this to maybe drip off the side and cover it. A little tilting. Looks like it's going. Might add to it, might take it away. It's kind of a mess. Probably shouldn't have been pouring tonight, but... Oh yeah, just giving it some all kinds of, oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh. Sometimes you just gotta keep working with them till you get something you feel is acceptable. Or just pour over them. Okay, well this all went to crap. Look at all that. This is a huge, long mess. Looks like we're at minute 17. Three minutes to make it happen. Look what I've done. My goodness. Okay, let's we're gonna start completely over. Let's see what we got to work with. Nothing. <laughs> it's really too bad. Okay, now quick swipes over the other side. That's looking good. So 
So instead of using my palette knife to swipe like this, I'm gonna use this bamboo stick and try not to go through it as many times as I did before because it really takes away the delicacy. I went all the way to the canvas on that one. Getting worked out now, I think. It looks pretty good. This is kind of self-healing itself. That's good. Side looks better. Everything looks a lot better. All right, that's it for now. Here's this leaf, Earth Colors. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.